Amen. 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 The next prayer that we'd like to pray is a prayer of proclamation. And I'm going to invite Apostle Fred Munya to come and lead us in that prayer. to lift our hands towards heaven. We thank God kwa sababu Mungu ameongea kwa njia ambayo ni wazi ya kwamba our deputy president is the next president of the Republic of Kenya. And uh, we are not saying it kwa sababu tunataka kusema. Tunaisema kwa sababu tumeisikia kutoka kwa Mungu na tumeisikia clearly na sio mwaka mmoja na sio miaka miwili ya excellency ni kwa muda mrefu kidogo ambao tumesikia na tumetaja kama vile ambavyo Mungu amesema na kwa neema yake Mungu leo tunaitangaza kabla ijafanyika kwa sababu God calls those things that are not as all they are and so tunapoenda kuomba maombi haya tunatangaza hivyo hivyo ya kwamba we have seen our next president we kani, kanisa la kristo liko na nafasi ambayo si ya kawaida na kanisa sio kasumba na kanisa sio kitu ya kudharauliwa kanisa la kristo liko imara ndio litasimamisha our next government let's lift our hands towards heaven our father we are extremely grateful that it has pleased you to bring us this far Tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kumlinda deputy president all this far Jehovah God katikati ya mambo mengi ambayo yamezungumzwa yamefanywa yamesukwa na watu ambao hawapendi taifa letu Bwana umemchagua katikati ya wengi ukamuinua kutoka chini mpaka anaelewa namna ya kuinua wengine kutoka chini na kwenda juu baba ninakuomba kwa jina la Yesu ya kwamba siku ya leo kwa namna ya kiungu bwana we proclaim ya kwamba bwana na deputy president is the next a president of the republic of kenya tunakataana na kila sauti zingine tunazima kila maroho mengine kila masauti ya kuzimu tunayanyamazisha kwa jina la Yesu every other proclamation tunaizima kwa jina la Yesu inaomba kila mtu anaweza ongea in tongues for one minute only just speak in other tongues maleko praleko pere besaya hema kapayo sekedede heraplo le apando le mele mesaya inakapo sekelia bate ira perote porolomo saya hema kai pokoli akelelele ba rako seketeta keta kambo kamole tetea onakoria kapero kata we kapero posakata we proclaim today ya kwamba bwana umeinuliwa hakuna mungu mwingine katika taifa letu bwana wewe ambaye umetuinulia rais watano jina lako likatukuzwe milele asante bwana maana wewe ni mwaminifu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini bwana wabariki sana wiki hii ni wiki ya maombi paka jumapili kwa hivyo tuendelee na kukaza maombi in fact nimeitwa kutoka katoloni prayer center nikasema lazima nije na wewe endelea kuomba kabisa even after now tunarudi tena thank you sir. amen thank you man of god may god bless you the next item we'd like to pray for is the presidency turn to your neighbor and tell them the presidency this one we are not even at uh, ubayumbi we are clear on the presidency can you tell your neighbor i am clear on the presidency we are, we are not we are not we are clear we are very clear on the presidency we have the current president in the house or rather the incoming president in the house amen bishop mark karaoke welcome
every journey has handles. Every journey has handles. Kuna handles ambazo tayari tumeruka. Lakini kuna handles ambazo zinabaki. So as we pray, we are going to dismantle every plan of the enemy. We are going to dismantle every evil plan that has been placed ahead so that our president does not get to the state house. We are going to dismantle all those. And then we are going to disqualify. We are going to disqualify every power of the enemy. Every representative of the enemy. We shall disqualify them in the name of Jesus Christ. And then we shall, we are going to take some time and pray in the spirit. Paul says, I will pray in the spirit and I will pray with my understanding. That means there are things you do not understand which can only the spirit can help you pray. So as we pray, we know from the book of Ezekiel chapter number 11 from verse 1, you will read about 25 elders who sit at the gate of the city and they are the ones who decide what is going to happen in the city and they say you are a meat to be eaten we refuse to be meat we refuse to be meat so we are going to send confusion in, the, in their camp that when they sit together they will not agree that their meetings will be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what, that's what our prayer is going to be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bless. Why don't you lift up your hands everybody. Call upon the name of the Lord. 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 Our Father and our God. Hear the cry of your people today. Hear our prayer today. We call upon you. We call upon you. Oh God, hear the cry of your people. Hear the prayer of your people today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we dismantle every obstacle. Every obstacle that has been placed ahead. We dismantle it in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind every spirit every power of darkness against the, uh, our deputy president from going to state house we break those barriers we break those barriers in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we break those barriers we declare the road is free we declare the root is free in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ oh god Open the doors which only you can open. Open those doors which only you can open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakapa saraba barando robo kusagatara. Viko robo taka saki japa. Rampara babai raba barando bo sakata. Rampara babai raba baranda raba kosha. Rampara babai raba baranda. Rampara baba shakata sara. Rampara baba ira baba randa. Rampora baka shagazaka. Riporobo sakata. Rampara baba shakata sara. Now we pray with understanding. Let us pray with understanding. You will say amen as we pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you that your eyes and your hand has been upon this nation. Your eyes and your hands are upon this nation. Your eyes and your hands will continually be upon this nation. As we get to the elections day, we know that there are handles that have been placed in front of us. And Lord, we pray, by your grace, by your wisdom, by your power, that every evil handle that has been placed in front of your servant, William Samoy Ruto, that Lord, you would remove all those, bad, all those barriers in the name of of Jesus Christ.
Father, we pray. Any evil plan that has been planned against your servant, William Samoy Ruto, and his leadership, that Lord, those plans be dismantled this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, every evil meeting that has been called or may be called, that has been planned or may be planned against this man, Lord, we declare that those meetings shall scatter by thunder. They scatter by thunder in the name of of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we pray that you will keep him in perfect peace. That you will give him the peace of mind. Keep him in perfect health. In the name of Jesus Christ and the entire team that is working with him. Lord, you have said that whatsoever we bind here on earth is bound in heaven and right now we stand upon this altar and declare that we bind the powers of witchcraft we stand against the powers of witchcraft in this nation in the name of Jesus Christ We take authority over every evil plan of the enemy. We dismantle those plans in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that as the 9th of August approaches, you are favor upon your servant William Samoy Ruto will permeate among us all Kenyans will capture the hearts of Kenyans that when they go voting, they will be led of your spirit. That there will be a landslide victory. That the camp of the enemy shall be shocked in the name of Jesus Christ. And Jehovah, you will be glorified in this nation. We thank you because we know that you hear us. We pray for Mama Rachel and the children as they go through this battle that your grace, your presence, your protection will be upon them as they have called upon your name and honored you, O oh God. Let them be honored now in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. amen. Now you put your finger like this. Put your feet. Now listen, one moment, one moment. You know, everything has ears. And it hears. So there are times we miss when we, when we don't speak. Everything has ears. You remember when Jesus spoke to the tree? The tree dried. So even Kenya has ears. Make a declaration. Declare. Kenya, Kenya, oh Kenya. Kenya, Kenya. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall reject any leader involved in witchcraft and human sacrifice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kenya, Kenya, oh Kenya. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall reject any leader who does not have good plans for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kenya, Kenya, oh Kenya. Hear the word of the Lord. This is your season of restoration. You shall receive the 
the gift of God, you shall receive the gift of God. You shall receive the gift of God in Jesus' name. And every evil plan against this nation we dismantle now in Jesus' name. Every evil plan of rigging elections we dismantle now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil plan of using people to cause chaos we dismantle now in the name of Jesus Christ we lift up our hands and our voices in thanksgiving in Jesus name Amen come on celebrate 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 Celebrate! Come on, celebrate, celebrate! Hallelujah! Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are in that mode of celebration, it gives me great pleasure to welcome our uh, president incoming, His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Come on, let's give a round of applause, a warm welcome to our incoming president, Dr. William Samway Ruto. Welcome, sir. God is good um, on behalf on my behalf and behalf of uh, my family and uh, my team I want to welcome you the spiritual fathers of our nation to this meeting thank you very much for honoring our invitation so that we can have a moment of prayer together. Um, we all know where we are as a country. We know the moments, we know the times, we know the challenges. And um, I did request that we have this moment of prayer together because of the weight of the issues that we are faced with in these last few days before we go to the vote. Um, and I want to thank you for taking your time at short notice and putting aside many of your schedules so that you can accommodate this morning prayer. We have... <coughs> Um, we have many schedules, but the Bible reminds us that seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. And every other thing shall be in place. So I want to say thank you very much for uh, coming to pray with me um, and to pray with my team and share this uh, very uh, blessed moments together. I, I must say, I underestimated uh, this meeting, but it has turned out to be something I never imagined. Um, I think we should have actually said we, we should, we'll have a prayer for a whole day, not, not one hour. <laughs> Um, but let me say, um, 
we are, we are truly grateful as a team. We have seen God's hand in this journey. The far that God has brought us, the many issues we have overcome, we have seen the hand of God. And along the journey, we have come to appreciate that men can let you down. But God... And so, we've come to the realization of trusting God. Because human beings can let you down. So, we want to pray, and we want to ask you to continue to pray. And I requested, as I requested on Sunday, to pray for the peace of our country. Um... Because of the way things are, there are people who would want to disrupt the peace of our country. We want also all of us to pray as Kenyans for a peaceful election. We want to cast our vote in peace. And we want every Kenyan to make their choices because we know eventually the will of God will prevail. <coughs> And I did also request that we pray for the prosperity of our country. Uh, we have many challenges, but we have God on our side. And so we are sure to overcome all the challenges that face us. Um, and I want to say that uh, I am truly grateful that uh, you have taken time to share these moments with us. Um, and especially with my, with, with my team as well. Um, God is, uh, is, a, is a wonderful God. I was reminding some friends uh, last Sunday. Um, yeah, last Sunday. I was with my, some of the members of my team. And we decided to go to church in Transmara, uh, somewhere in Kilgoris. And so we ended up in a small church. There were hardly maybe, maybe 100 people in that church. And uh, at some point, I was wondering whether we came to the right church. <laughs> because uh, in these moments of campaigns, you want a place where you can meet many people. So I, I was just wondering whether we had made the right decision to go to this church. <laughs> but anyway, so we ended, we went to this church and uh, it was amazing. It was really, really amazing. Um, because it was an AIC church and somehow, at some point, I had participated in a, a fundraising that built that church. And then there was this bishop who was not who was preaching, but he, he didn't. He was not an AIC bishop. He had come from full gospel, and he was very profound. He was very profound, and I didn't expect that in a little church in Transmara. I did not. He he spoke. <laughs> He spoke the word of God in a very, very profound way. And uh, I remember he quoted um, Proverbs, I think, uh, 1633. And, and he was talking about the vote. And he was saying, in the folding of this vote, it is God who decides. Yeah? But then he went ahead to say something I have never, uh, it never, I've never had it said in that way. And then he said, 
Because there is no other way God is going to do this thing. You, it's your vote. That's how God wants to make the choice. And he went ahead to read to us the scripture that said, if you know the right thing and you don't do it, it is counted on you as sin. So to us who are Christians, maybe sometimes we don't get it right. We pray. And we know we have to vote. But sometimes you don't show up to vote. So I, I, it was really very profound to me and it spoke to my heart that <clears throat> sometimes we let God down by not going to do that which he intends to use to make the right choices. <clears throat> And it ties in with what is said that if the punishment, sorry, the punishment given to good people who don't vote is to be led by fools. Yeah. So good people like us who are sitting here, if you don't show up to vote, yeah, you should not complain when the wrong people are, are, are voted for. And I think for the first time in Kenya, this election is more of a spiritual battle than a political contest. I think this election is more of a spiritual battle than a political contest. And that is why we have all the manner of things that are going on today. But um, I want to thank many spiritual leaders who have taken a firm position for our country. I must say that we are not ashamed of our God. We will stand firm and we will take whatever consequences. We will be happy to take whatever consequences when we have taken a position on the side of our faith. And we believe in a united country. We believe in a united Kenya. And we want peace for our nation. I want to ask Kenyans from all walks of life, from the, uh, uh, both sides of the political divide, to be peaceful so that we can work together as Kenyans and know that after the election, God's will will prevail and we will march forward as one united nation. So, um, asante ni sana uh, kwa kutu kuja kushiriki pamoja na sisi katika maombi haya. Poleni, tuliwapatia notisi fupi, lakini asante ni sana kwa muda wenu wakuja uh, kushiriki pamoja na sisi. Um, sitake kusema uh, uh, kuzidi hapo um, <coughs> niko na viongozi wengi hapa niko na viongozi wengi niko na running mate wangu uh, ndugu yangu uh, Rigathi Gashagwa na na mke wake uh, pastor Dokas niko na ndugu yangu uh, governor wa Machakos Alfred Mutua niko na kiongozi wa Ford Kenya eh, Moses Wetangula yuko hapa niko na mama Alice Wahome mbunge wa Kandara niko pia na ndugu yangu eh, kiongozi wa Amani 
National Congress, Musalia Mudavadi. Niko na Director General wetu wa Presidential Campaign, Governor wa Turkana, Mwishimwa Nanok. Niko na Senator wetu wa Kiambu, ambaye anawania kiti ya Governor. Na kwa mapenzi ya Mungu. Tutapata Governor, anaitua eh, Kimani Paul wa Matangi. Niko na Victor Munyaka, mbunge wa Machakos Town. Um, na wengine ambao uh, awako wa papa moja na sisi. So, to you, the clergy and the church, we want to say thank you very much for sharing these moments with us. Um, I think we can arise and, and sing that song. You know which one? Huh? Ile wimbo. <laughs> Pamoja. Bwana bwana use hemu yangu. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> ah yeah, maybe I will lead. Okay. Uh, I'm the soloist for this one. Bwana u <coughs> No no, I think that's I think that's low. <laughs> Bwana u sehemu yang Nafiki yangu wewe Katika safari yangu Tuatembe ya na wewe Bwana u sehemu yang Nafiki
Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, together with your running mates, uh, in the next uh, coming elections, Rigathe Gashago and uh, Mama Dr. Dorcas Pastor and all the uh, Kenya Kwanzaa leadership, together with the Church of God in our nation. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. Mine this morning is very simple. Uh, first of all, to thank the Almighty God for His goodness. The Bible says His mercies are new every day. So I want to thank God because um, His mercies have been with us. We thank God uh, for uh, this great nation that God has given us. And I want to thank God even uh, for the Father of Faith and the Church of Jesus Christ that is here this morning, even to pray and to continue to pray for our nation. I want to thank um, Dr. Bishop Makarioki uh, for coming this morning and leading these prayers very well. Bishop, thank you so much, together with everybody that is here. We really thank God, and um, we know that uh, we are in a defining moment as our nation. I just want to thank the church for standing in the gap. I usually say that uh, we may not reach all of you, we may not know all of you, but indeed we know that there is the church of Jesus Christ that is on her knees somewhere really praying. I want to appreciate all of you. I know many uh, Christians have taken to prayer and fasting as we are going into the elections on the 9th of August. I have met people that have fasted for 90 days, 40 days, 21 days, 7 days, 3 days, 1 day, and we really appreciate uh, God for you. And we really thank God that you are doing this for this nation. I just want to urge that, uh, like my husband has said, let's continue praying for our nation. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run unto it, and they are safe. This is the place that we choose to run to because this is the thing that we know. So thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord strengthen you as we go to the home stretch. I pray that as the church, we shall finish strong. So may the Lord bless you. And thank you for coming this morning. We'll continue to pray. And may the Lord bless you. Thank you. Can we have another round of applause, please? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So we are almost coming to the end of this particular prayer session, and this is not part of the program, but I humbly request Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Your Excellency, Mama Rachel Ruto, can we pray for them? Can we just commit them in prayer? And, uh, you know, the running mate, Rigade Gashagwa, Pastor Dokas Gashagwa, and the team, because I know it is a very, this is the home stretch. And it may surprise you, but I have never given birth. But uh, you'll get that later. Uh, but <laughs> I remember when my wife was giving birth, the doctor, the gynecologist told me that that process of giving birth, and Kenya is at the process of birthing a new dawn. So that particular process of giving birth is very delicate and extremely dangerous. So we want to pray for God to just protect and watch over the whole team. Uh, so if we can be upstanding, I'm going to invite you, uh, Bishop Dr. Mark Karaoke, to lead us in that prayer. And I'd was, I want us to just stretch, or you can lead us in how we'll do that, to just pray for His Excellency, the Deputy President. I'm sure after this, they have a very laborious plan for the day that God will just watch over them as we go into the home stretch. I think it would be good if I asked you to come to the altar. And, and as the four of you stand in front, may I ask the rest of the team to stand behind you? Because you are one team. The rest of the team, just come and stand here before, behind you. Let me ask the church to lift up your hands towards them. Our Father and our God want to thank you for this final your servants are going through towards the 9th of August. Lord, we pray that you place a hedge of fire around every one of them, that you protect them from the evil one, that you protect them from the attacks of the enemy. Lord, we pray 
that your favor will be manifested in their lives. That you will keep every one of them in perfect health. That during this last stretch, the exertion shall not affect them. They shall not be affected by any ill health. They shall be sound in mind. They shall be sound in their bodies. We pray for all the agents, the, all the agents that they have chosen, that they shall be found faithful to this team, that the agents will be sober, that righteousness shall be manifested in this nation, and that, Lord, you will be with them every step. Even as they come to form the government, that your wisdom would be upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. That Lord, only those you have called, only those you have brought to them shall receive positions in the name of Jesus Christ. The confusion that comes after... shall prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that as they fly in the air, your presence will be with them. As they drive on the roads, your presence shall be with them. As they we pray for their families that they shall be protected from you. We thank you and we bless you because you hear us when we pray for we pray. In Jesus' name, Because our God is the Lord. Are you ready? 